When asked to compare physical properties such as boiling point, melting point, viscosity and surface tension, it's important to start off by mentioning the structural differences in the molecules. Talk about differences in functional groups, chain length or number of branches. Then describe how these differences affect the bonding sites or the type of intermolecular force, IMF, that exists between molecules. Then lastly, either talk about how these forces affect the amount of energy required to weaken the forces which result in phase change, or how the forces affect strengths of forces of cohesion or adhesion, and how these ultimately affect the properties of the substance. The different functional groups result in different intermolecular forces forming between the molecules. Remember that because we are working with long chains, that it is likely that more than one type of bond can occur on one chain. But it is the presence of additional dipole-dipole or hydrogen bonds that increases the overall strength of the intermolecular forces. Alkanes, alkenes and alkynes are generally non-polar molecules and have predominantly London dispersion forces between the molecules. These are very weak and require little energy to break. The asymmetry of a double or triple bond may result in the presence of a very weak dipole-dipole bond forming as well which may cause alkenes and alkynes to have slightly stronger IMF than alkanes. Terminal double or triple bonds result in greater asymmetry and stronger dipole-dipole forces. The general rule is the more polar the molecule, the stronger the IMF. Aldehydes are asymmetrical because of the presence of the oxygen molecule. Stronger dipole-dipole bonds form, and therefore they have stronger IMF than alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. Ketones also form dipole-dipole bonds, but because of the geometrical shape, the asymmetry is enhanced, resulting in stronger dipole-dipole bonds and stronger IMF. Esters also have dipole-dipole bonds, but because of the presence of an additional oxygen molecule, there is an additional dipole-dipole bonding site leading to stronger IMF. Alcohols have the hydroxyl group. This means that alcohols can form very strong hydrogen bonds. Alcohols have stronger IMF than esters, and so the molecules don't break apart as easily. The number of hydroxyl groups also increases the IMF as additional hydroxyl groups lead to additional hydrogen bond bonding sites. Carboxylic acids have an iboxyl group, which consists of an OH group and a double bond O. This means that it can form hydrogen bonds but has an additional bonding site for dipole dipole bonds to form, making the IMF stronger than those of alcohols. When comparing compounds with an homologous series, the longer the chain, the more exposed surface area is available, which means there are more bonding sites and therefore more energy is required to break the bonds which results in higher melting and boiling points for the compounds. Therefore, as chain length increases, so does the melting and boiling points. Chain isomers can also differ in the strength of their IMF. 
The more branched carbon chains have less available surface area for bonding sites to occur. Therefore, as the number of branches increase, the energy required to break the IMF decreases, and so does the boiling point. So here's a brief summary of how to predict the properties of a compound. Hydrogen bonds create strong intermolecular forces and will generally increase melting and boiling points more than other forces. Dipole-dipole forces are weaker than hydrogen bonds and depend on the polarity of the molecules. London forces exist in all molecules and are weak. They are dependent mostly on the size of the molecule's electron cloud. Physical properties are a reflection of the strength of these forces. So, when looking at strength, here's a rough guide when intermolecular forces are strong or numerous. Some unexpected physical properties occur when oxygen or hydroxyl groups appear on the molecule, making the molecule capable of mixing with water through hydrogen bonding. Ethanol mixes in any ration with water in beverages because of this property.